What's up, guys? This is uh, part three of the tour cameras build, and uh, it's a Sunday, so uh, sitting here watching the race too. I'm putting this together, and uh, good news for me. And don't care how many haters it gets. Johnson hit the wall again, so that's good in my books. Jeff Gordon running first, Junior second. Great day. But either way, let's pick up from last night. Last night I didn't even have any of the tub chassis assembled. I've got the motor transmission, shift servo, battery tray, battery, rear sway bars, all done. Starting to get a little chunky. And I just finished putting together the front differential on it. Now I went with the option locked front. So when these turn, it's locked. There's no stopping it. Now I'm going to be moving on to assembling the option part, which comes with the kit, which is the CVDs up front. And instead of using the stock spindle carriers, this is where I'm going to be going with the 15 degree aluminum carriers and the uh, option knuckles. Which are sitting around here somewhere. Yep, I'll be using the Vatera 15 degree caster blocks and the front spindles. So these parts will be coming into play versus the plastic stock ones. And like I said, I'll be uh, using, well, I'll have a lot of leftover parts, which is good. So in case something ever breaks on it, I've got spares to fix them. Now, I haven't set my endpoints. I haven't put my ESC in yet. I'm pretty much just going to build it to the point up to uh, the steering rack, I believe, which shouldn't be too far away. Or I'll just build the whole thing, including the stock steering rack, and then when the uh, hot racing one comes in, just replace it. But we're getting closer, and I really can't wait to start putting the cage and all that together, getting it all bolted up, and then just getting it to sit as a pretty much... ARTR form. So this will be, I guess, maybe part one of uh, building the uh, front end. Next time I'll probably show you guys what all is uh, done since then.